Good morning, Cardinals fans. Welcome to About Last Night. I'm Tara Wellman. I cover the St. Louis Cardinals for birdsontheblack.com. If you've been here before, you know what this show is all about. Well, last night, obviously. But if this is your first time here, I'm so glad that you have decided to join us. And I would also love it if you would give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you like what you see, and let me know in the comments what did you like most about seeing the Cardinals in Monterrey, Mexico for the Mexico series. Now, I always try to provide you with content that keeps you in the loop and entertained, and that is happening today in the form of talking about what happened last night. After grasping desperately at anything that resembled offense in the first game at Estadio de Baseball Monterrey, the Cardinals took it to red starter Anthony Discalfani right off the top, punctuated by a three-run blast by Marcel Ozuna. Don't look now, but he's quietly picking it up. Spoiler alert, there would be more later on, so stick around. Maybe all is not lost on the Marcel Ozuna front just yet, but also don't look at what he does in left field. Miles Michaelis was cruising through four innings, and as so often happens, that was about to change quickly. With runners at the corners, Marcel Ozuna misplayed a base hit that bounced off the trampoline turf and careened into center field, allowing a run to score. Then Jesse Winker would eliminate all need for outfielders with a home run of his own. New ball game, 4-4. Miles Michaelis left the game in the fifth inning, throwing just 61 pitches, but Mike Schilt opted for the offensive option with runners on base, went aggressive, pulled Miles Michaelis, subbed in Jed Jerko, and still came up empty. Never fear, Matt Carpenter and Marcelo Zuna are here. A Matt Carpenter solo shot kicked things off in the seventh inning, and then a two-run homer by Marcel Ozuna, his second of the game, broke it wide open. Then a Jose Martinez RBI single would add a couple of insurance runs. And let's not overlook the bases-loaded walk that Colton Wong took to put another run on the board as well. Even when he's not hitting, he's still finding ways to contribute. That's five home runs and 10 RBI in the last seven games for Ozuna, by the way. Not too shabby. But can we just pause and think about how great it is to see Carpenter and Ozuna both contributing in the same inning? Finally! And with that, Giovanni Gallegos created the moment of the weekend. The only Mexican-born player on either roster took the mound in Mexico. Now, Yasiel Puig did not read the script, and a first pitch home run spoiled the fairy tale moment for just a moment, but what an experience that was. Gallegos in front of the home fans, leaving the field to that ovation. That's special, man, and he'll remember that forever. Just so cool. Miller and Hicks finished things off, and it wasn't as easy as I just made that sound, but that is the story of the Cardinals taking Game 2 to split the series with the Reds, winning this one 9-5 in Monterey. Don't forget, as always, you can find detailed recaps and analysis over at birdsontheblack.com. So it is back to Milwaukee for Round 2, where the Brewers will greet Dakota Hudson tonight with a lineup that kind of chewed him up and spit him out in that opening weekend series. Can he make the adjustments? That is the question. What do you think the answer is? Let me know in the comments below. We will find out tonight at Miller Park on Jackie Robinson Day. You can find out more about this series with the Brewers series preview that's live right now. I will link to that, so make sure you check it out and subscribe if you want to be sure you get all of those series previews as well as these game recaps and more. Have the coffee ready tomorrow. I'll be there. I'll see you then.